Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Back behind me on the table, we have an OLED 55B6P. Uh, we are gonna be taking the back off as well as getting the boards out of this unit. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, if you need to order parts, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. This is the back of this OLED unit. There are some screws down here along the bottom as well as here, here, and then right here on the main board. We're gonna to need to get those out and we're gonna pop this plate off. So let's get started. After we get the screws out, we should be able to lift this back piece away from the chassis. And there are just a couple clips that run along the top here. We're gonna to wanna to be a little bit gentle with this back as we lift it up but it should just pop right away. And now we can get to the boards. The first board we're gonna be removing is the main board. We're gonna to wanna to get these clips taken out of the board first before we um, actually remove the screws. So with this guy right here, we're gonna pinch down on the two sides and we're gonna pull him right away from the board. And you can see here, the one side has become unlatched, the other side's still stuck in. We're just gonna push that back in, try it from a little bit different angle. They usually just come right out. These flaps, fingernail, to actually pull the flap up, and then you should just be able to walk these ribbon cables right away from the board. Now this one is gonna have a lever on the back that we're gonna depress with our fingernail. Pull that one out, same with this one, but it's gonna come straight up. This guy's also going to be the little lever that we're gonna depress with our finger, with our thumbnail, and then pull that just right out. Now we've got four screws and this should be coming away. So now that we've gotten those out, we should be able to just lift this board up and away. This plastic piece does just pop right off of the board here. And then you can just slap that onto your replacement board once you get that in the mail. And that comes off like that. And you should just be able to slide that uh, onto your replacement board. And that's the main board. Next up is the T-Con board. It's gonna be underneath this little metal housing here, which will all come away at the same time. But first we're gonna to need to get these plugs, these plugs and these four ribbon cables out of the board. Uh, this right here could probably end up getting in your way. So what we're gonna do is just disconnect that from the main board. It does go from the main board to the power supply board. We'll just lay that across for now. This guy's gonna have two buttons on the right and left side of the clip that we're gonna depress. At the same time, we're gonna pull it out from the board and these just pop right out. Not a problem at all. This one, we're gonna take our thumbnail, depress the flap, which releases the lever, and that allows it to slide away from the T-Con board. Both of these clips are the same. This guy right here, we're gonna get our fingernail up underneath it, pop them up, and then there are little tabs that you can just grab and pull those ribbon cables free from the T-Con board. We've got our six screws here that we're gonna remove and that should be the T-Con board away from the chassis. Once we get those screws out, we should just be able to lift this up and away. And if I'm not mistaken, this entire metal housing piece does come away from the board with just a little bit of adhesive here and here. Uh, and you can, if you need to replace this T-Con board, you can just take this whole housing piece off and then put it onto the new T-Con board that you get. And that's all for that board. Last up is the power supply board. There are just a few clips here on this side. Uh, this one right here, you're gonna squeeze down on both the tabs on the right and left side of the clip, slowly walk it away from the board. This one is gonna be depressed with your thumb to release the lever just comes right out. Same thing with this guy. And then all we'll have left is about six screws removed from this board and it should be coming away as well. And after those six screws, you should just be able to lift up on the board, and pull it right away. And that's the power supply board. All right, that's gonna do it for this removal video. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you do subscribe, you'll qualify for 20% off your first order through TV Parts today, and we will see you next time.
Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.